I don't want to have to be worrying about my own safety. I want to be purely focusing on observing what's going on around me and shooting it as best as I can. I kind of accidentally fell into filmmaking. It was more fascination in planet Earth, experiencing powerful typhoons, going to look at volcanoes, and I slowly realized that there was a possibility of selling some of these videos of storms, things blowing up and blowing away. One thing led to another, and you know now I'm kind of full-time <laughs> traveling around Asia and beyond. I would be lying if I didn't get a little thrill out of what I do. It's amazing on so many levels just to witness and feel the power of nature is something I think more people should get the chance to do. Safely of course, you know, I'm saying everyone should be out in the middle of a hurricane. Well, winter is time to pick up now and it feels like there is a typhoon. There's been a few close calls, but certainly the most intense was filming uh, Super Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. It destroyed the city we were in, it killed thousands of people, and it was an extremely challenging environment to film in and do my job. This breaking news now, the death toll in the Philippines could reach 1,200 or even higher from Typhoon Haiyan. Yeah, it was absolute, full-on, unimaginable chaos during the height of the typhoon massive bits of debris we're traveling at well over 100 miles an hour when you're in the middle of these dangerous storms and typhoons it can be really hazardous and that was that really brought it all home it's like right this is the, the real deal here forget the filming forget everything it's just like we need to make sure we're safe and the people around us are, are safe as well people are, are just sifting through the debris trying to retrieve whatever remains uh, belongings they can uh, they can find what drives me is to make people go, wow, so that's a volcanic eruption, or wow, that's the, the eye wall of a typhoon. So people can see what I shoot and really get an understanding of the forces of nature that are at work. I have a lot of fear, and it's a good thing. You need to have a certain amount of fear and respect for me to be able to do my job properly. It's like everything was stock footage, it's patience. I just need to wait for the right time to come along and then hopefully nail those, those incredible shots. They're out there somewhere in the future, waiting to be filmed.